and today I'm going to be showing you how to get this Valentine's Day look. So um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe. Don't forget to like this video and leave a comment below. So let's get started. The first step is to apply the primer. This one is by Laura Mercier. We are going to apply it all over the face and the neck. Now we are going to apply the foundation. This one is my favorite ever. It's by MAC and it's called Prolonger. My color is NC20 and the sponge that I'm using is the one by Murphy. It's fabulous, you guys. Always, always apply your foundation on the neck as well. <laughs> now we are going to apply the concealer under the eyes on the forehead, on the chin, and a little bit on the nose. The one that I'm using is called Shape Tape by Tarte. I'm also using this brush. This one is by MAC. I'm not sure if they sell it anymore. I got it in a Christmas limited edition. But if you don't have it, you can use a sponge. And now we are going to set. I'm using the Lower Mercier setting powder. Now we are going to do my favorite part of the makeup, the eyes. I'm going to use the Murphy brush called R39 and I'm going to use this amazing, amazing Tarte palette and you're going to use the color Sand and I apply it on the eyelid. Now we are going to use the Naked 2 by Urban Decay. I'm going to use the brush that comes with the palette. And the color that we are going to put on our eye crease is called Tease. Now we are going to go back to the Tarte palette and we are going to use the color called Dunes and apply it on the outer lid. This gives just a little bit of a drama. And then we're gonna use the same color and apply it under the eye. Actually, I wanna use this brush by Murphy. It's called E36. It is perfect for under the eyes. Now let's apply this pigment by MAC. This one is called Pink Opal, just on the eyelid, up until the middle. Now let's use the M573 by Murphy. And we are going to go back to the Tarte palette we are going to use the color Smoke. This is a beautiful color and I think it's going to add some beige tone to it mixed with the pigment. It's going to look beautiful. I love mixing eyeshadow colors. Now we are going to go back to the Tarte palette and use the color Journey to apply it on the eye crease. This is going to make sure all your eyeshadows blend in together and look beautiful. Now let's go back to the Naked palette and use the pink color called Booty Call. 
and apply it on the inner corner. We are going to use the same color to apply it on the brow bone. This is going to give that extra shine. Then we go back to the Tarte palette, use the joining again. Make sure you blend in those colors. It gives a special touch. Now let's use that smoke color again. Put it right under the eye, right after that pink color and between the teeth color. Now we are going to grab this brush by Murphy to remove the excess from the setting powder. This, Mur this Murphy brush is called Y11. So once you have removed whatever is left over from your setting powder, we are going to get the Clinique powder. It's like a powder foundation. I really love this. And the reason that I'm using it is because I think I look too pale. So I want to add a little bit of color. And I love this powder. And now we're going to use the liquid liner by Sephora. This one is the classic line. And we are going to do a beautiful, sexy cat eye. Honestly, like, this is the most difficult part of the makeup, in my opinion. But you know what? Practice makes it perfect. Alright, so now let's do the eyebrows. This one is by Ulta and it's called Brow Tint and I'm using the medium color. This is a little bit dangerous, so make sure you remove the access. Uh-oh, mistake. <laughs> but I have the Neutrogena wipes to save me. And this is how I do it. Watch and learn. You see? It's no big deal. Go back to the color, the booty call. Put it over it, get over it. So now let's do the contouring. Let's use the shade and light by Kat Wendy. This one, you can find it at Sephora. And then I'm going to apply that first color. Make sure you remove the axis from the brush. Wow. I love this palette. The tint applies so well. It's really good. Look how beautiful it already looks. Make sure you apply it on your forehead, especially if you have a big one like I do. And apply it on your neck, always. Because then it just looks weird if you don't. Um, you know, I want to use this light color just to give a little bit of more luminance under my eyes. Apply it on the nose, forehead, just a little bit, the chin. All right, let's go back to the Tarte palette and use the blush. Ah, oh my God, this mascara. It's fabulous. And the more you apply, the bigger your eyelashes look. Make sure you apply it under too. Now let's do the highlighter. I'm going to be using this brush by Murphy and it's called R36. And I'm using this highlighter by MAC. This is called Beaming Blush. It's a beautiful pink tone. Apply it on top of your cheeks, a little bit on the forehead, 
on your nose, and on top of your lips. And now, let's use my favorite lipstick. This one is by Kylie and it's called Mary Jo. So the red lips is the final and last step of this makeup tutorial. Hope you guys have enjoyed watching it. Please, if you haven't subscribed, do so right now. Like this video, leave your comments below. Let me know what you would like to see next and share it with a friend. Can't wait to be back next time. Thank you.